In this problem, we have to show that this function is homogeneous. So to do that, basically, we have to replace x with tx and y with ty and see if we can factor out a t and get back the original function. So let's go ahead and try to do it. So we'll start with this. And recall, a function is homogeneous of degree n if this occurs. If you plug in tx and ty, you get t to the n f of x, y. So we'll also find the degree in this problem just to see uh, what it actually is. All right, so here, instead of x squared, we're gonna have tx. So this is eight tx squared plus eight tx, and then y is ty, minus 10, and then y again is ty. So we're here. So now we can keep going. So this is equal to, let's see, t squared, x squared. So you can pull, well, I'll leave it like this, eight t squared, x squared, and then plus eight t squared, x, y, then minus 10 t squared, y squared. So this is equal to, so now we can pull out a t squared. So it'll be eight x squared times t squared. So this gives us this, so eight x squared. What's missing here? You've already got a t squared. You just need an eight x, y. So plus eight x, y. And then here you have minus 10 t squared y squared, and there's a t squared here, so you just have minus 10 y squared. You can check that, t squared times this is this, t squared times this is this, t squared times this is this. So all of this is just f of x, y. So this is t squared f of x, y. So we're done, it's homogeneous, and the degree here is two, so it's homogeneous of degree two. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.